Okay, now this second lesson, we want to talk about uh, why does something start to have a charge, okay? So in particular, we could call this lesson is uh, static uh, electricity. Okay, and what does the word static mean? Static means not moving, okay? If something is moving, and it's become electrical current, because it's moving. And then uh, static electricity means it's not moving, okay? If it's not moving, well, let's see what happens. Well, last lesson, we talked about how everything, all atoms are neutral, because proton equals the electron, right? So they stay neutral. But if we have a situation where I can use, say, I got a rubber rod over here, and I rub, 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 rub on my clothes, rub on my clothes, okay? And then the electron is very, very light, and it's on the outside of the atom. Electron flows on the outside. So electron will actually be able to move if it's rubbed against something, right? So if I rub it off, and then the electron will jump, say from the rod to my clothes. And then now we see what's gonna happen, okay? Let's say, well, if I have a rod, and the rod have proton and electrons inside. Let's say one proton, two proton, three, four, five, six. Let me say it has six protons over there, okay? Originally it was neutral, so how many electrons will be there? It will be six electrons as well. So now I draw six electrons to show how uh, they were neutral, okay? And then now I'm gonna rub it against this cloth, so which is my clothes, okay? So rub this cloth and, uh, it looks a bit ugly. Why do I have a little dot there? Okay, so rub against this cloth. And what about the cloth? The cloth, let's say, well, originally it had six proton. One, six proton, and it had six electrons as well, right? Because proton always need good electron. It could be 20, it could be 18, it could be, it could be, it should be like a billion or a million or something like that, right? Lots of electrons, lots of protons in there. Okay, cool. And then once you rub, 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 and the electron will be able to move. Proton cannot move because proton is inside the nucleus. Proton and, and the neutron are very tight inside the nucleus in the middle. Electron very light flows around, so it can be rubbed off. Okay, so now what happens is say, say, let me let's say let's say these three has jumped to this side, moved to that one, okay? All right, and then what's happening to the rod? So now the rod, I mean, you will still have electron. You can't have all the electron jumping. I can't lose all my electron, right? So you lose some, okay? Say so still, the proton's still gonna stay here, and three electrons are gone. Now you are only gonna have three electrons here, negative. So if we have a look over here, well, is this gonna be positive or negative? Six positive, three negative. Now this thing will become positively charged. Okay, and then, okay, let's come to this side. Let's have a look of this cloth. What's happening to this cloth? Well, originally I still draw these ones because these ones are still there, right? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, six proton, and the original six, one, two, three, four, five, six electron is still there. Now it has gained another three electron. One, two, three. So now there are a total of nine electron, nine negative charge, and then there are only six positive charge now. So well, this thing now is gonna become negatively charged. Does it make sense? Okay, so through this way we see by friction, by rubbing something, you can make one thing uh, positively charged and the other thing negatively charged, okay? And uh, sometimes you see the situation where the rod become positively charged, the cloth become negatively charged, some other situation, you might actually see the rod become negatively charged and the cloth become positively charged, okay? So what we have in our lab is there are actually two different types of rod. So which one become positive, which one become negative according to the chemical structure of the material you have. So we had two rods like that almost look exactly the same. 
uh, and then the two rows you use this one to rub the cloth, and then it becomes positive. And the other row you rub on the cloth, same cloth, and then it becomes negative. And so it's just different uh, material. Even though they look the same, they all look plastic, but they are actually different. So like we have to buy both of them. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah. So anyway, and then the next thing we do is uh, electricity. How do we know it's it has an electrical charge? Uh, electrical heart charge had this. Uh, probability, uh, uh, not probability, have this property is where um, a same charge repel and the opposite charge attract, okay? If you have something positive, positive, they will repel each other. And then if it's negative, negative, they will repel each other as well. But if it's a positive and negative, hello, then they will start to attract each other, okay? So, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's how the charge is gonna uh, give each other a force, okay? And then there's another thing is, if something is charged, charged object will attract a neutral object if something is uh, charged it actually if some, another thing is neutral it will be able to attract the neutral object so this experiment we did doing school is like we get uh, the raw rub 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 maybe the law has a charge so negative charge or positive charge or whatever and then we just have some little piece of paper and then you use the rod you will be able to attract the paper the paper was neutral but you will still be able to attract it okay all right so for now you just need to know okay there are some forces same charge repel opposite charge attract and then charge object will attract a neutral object. So why does it attract a neutral object? And we can discuss that uh, in the next lesson, okay? And then we're gonna see what happens and exactly why the neutral. So so this uh, is based on these two, okay? So these two are the fundamental uh, concepts, okay? So I'll find a few videos on YouTube and then add that onto the, uh, onto the video. So hopefully when we go back to school and then we can show you all these videos as uh, we can actually do these experiments, okay? But for now, I just found some videos for you guys. You guys can have a look. Yeah, and then that's it for our lesson for today. And it's just about, um, yeah, about how, why do we have like, static electricity? When does it happen? And then how this happened, okay? Uh, one last situation is, you know how rubbing uh, get, give you static electricity? A typical situation that happens is if you go to the airport, like airport, I always get electrocuted, like, you know, whoever I'm traveling with, because at the airport, you got a lot of elevators, you stand on there and then start moving forward. You put your hand over here and there was a lot of rubbing going on. And then you, if you touch someone, like they will give them electrocute. Uh, electricity, yeah, you will electrocute them, and that's because of the rubbing causes static electricity. Okay? And this is also the reason why sometimes with a car, like the car will have a little thing like hanging onto the uh, touching the ground, that is to pass the uh, static electricity onto the ground. Okay, all right, yeah, so and that's it for our lesson for today. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. And then see see if there's any homework you can do for your uh, for your booklet. So the part where it talks about uh, the attract and then repel and and then you can do it. Okay, but to learn about the neutral neutral object and how electrical scope works, and that's gonna be in the uh, next uh, few lessons. Okay, all right. Have a good day, guys, and stay safe. See you in the next video.